Hi guys, my name is Fausto. And I am Axel, and we are the marketing team at Nearsoft. Today we're gonna present you a few tips on SEO. Uh, I'll start this with the very first tip. Uh, first of all, please define your goals. Uh, you can only measure when you know what to achieve. Just ask yourself, are you selling something? Are you going for signups? What's your audience? Just define that so you have a pretty good set of goals and you know where to go. Second tip. Uh, this is not SEO, but it's SEM uh, is part of it. Uh, do not buy paid traffic yet. Do not do it. First of all, pay attention to what you can achieve organically, in-house, free, and then experiment with paying for ads because then you will be renting users. If you rent users, they will come at, very, at a very, very high price. Third tip, use the tools. Uh, for some, it might be quite obvious, but insert the Google Analytics code. Please do it. Uh, there are some other tools around, uh, some, one, some that you can buy at a very reasonable price, like Crazy Egg, Moss, uh, there's crawlers that, that, that you can really see how Google is, is crawling your site. Just use them, please. Next tip, use social media, guys. Uh, but use it, obviously you're using the social media the whole time, but use it in terms of experimenting your content, your pictures, what you're sharing, when you're sharing, the time, all that counts, but really make it systematically in a way that you can really Achieve something different every day by social media, by using social media. Now, Axel. How pretty HTML code. And by pretty, I mean short code and written in a way that describes the content on your website. So if you, uh, your main heading should be an H1, your first subtitle should be an H2. So the markup describes the content and it's really clear for Google uh, what you're talking about. Google likes that. Your URLs uh, should make sense. It's not the same to have, uh, let's say for a client page, uh, domain.com slash client slash client name that have, let's say, domain.com slash page ID equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Uh, one it's very understandable, one's not. Name your links the right way. Uh, the text on your links should be really descriptive. So if you are telling people to go to your photos page, you, uh, you should say, click here to, sh to see my photos and not just click here or click or here. You know, uh, <laughs> people should, be, should have a, a clear understanding uh, of what the links it's gonna take them to. Your images should have a good alt description. An alt description is a, a little piece of text that describes the image. For example, if you have this kitten in your website, uh, it's better to have this image called kitten playing football that DSC 0001234.jpg, right? Respect your visitor. Please, please, in the name of all the users of the internet, don't put ads in front of people's faces. That's just disrespectful. Um, and when the, the first thing your visitors see when they come to your website, it's an overlay asking them to sign up for some uh, newsletter or something. Uh, that's, uh, that's rude and people won't get back to your, web, to your website in the future if you do that. Guys, also want to be to ask for feedback, please do so. But do not ask your mom, your brother, your colleague. Go around the office and ask somebody who's not involved in the project, in the website. Go around and ask a new visitor, uh, somebody that you think he might know something about your product but is not entirely involved in the process. Go ahead and ask and, and try to find shortcuts to make it flat, to make it clear. We will come back later with more tips if you like this. If, if you don't, we might be still doing what we do and not be famous or rich. Share the video, please.